The time of Passover was drawing near, and Jesus and his disciples traveled toward Jerusalem with a crowd of fascinated people in tow. The people following Jesus had heard of or seen the many wonderful works he had done, and they were eager to see what he would do once he arrived in the great city of Jerusalem. On their journey, they came across two small towns near the Mount of Olives. As they approached, Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead on a special mission. Jesus told the two disciples, When you enter the next village, you will find a donkey's young colt there that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it to me. If anyone stops you and asks what you are doing, tell them, It is needed for the Lord of all. The two disciples followed Jesus' instructions and made their way to the village. As the two men walked to the village, they discussed all that Jesus had told them, and before long, they arrived at the village. Immediately after entering the village, they came across a donkey and her colt, just as Jesus said they would. Continuing to follow Jesus' instructions, they began to untie the colt so that they could bring it back to Jesus. As the disciples worked to untie the colt, the owners approached them and said, What are you doing? The disciples replied, We need this donkey for the Lord of all. The owners allowed the disciples to take the colt, and they brought it back to Jesus. After returning, the disciples put their cloaks on the donkey's back and placed Jesus onto the animal. As Jesus rode the donkey, people ran out to meet him, placing palm leaves and spreading their cloaks out in front of him on the road. Jesus continued his journey, and as the road began to go down to the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of disciples began to praise God joyfully, in loud voices, for all the miracles they had seen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the religious leaders had come out to watch the procession, and they grew angry over the outpouring of joy and praise at Jesus' arrival. They called out to Jesus, saying, Teacher, you must order your followers at once to stop saying these things. But Jesus responded, Listen to me. If my followers were silenced, the very stones would break out and praise me. As Jesus came near to Jerusalem, he saw the great city and began to weep. Jesus said to the inhabitants, If only you had known that today was the day your Messiah had come and that he came to bring peace. But you will not understand who I am and why I have come. Because of this, your enemies will overtake you and destroy this great city. The people of Jerusalem would only understand after his death that Jesus had come to save them from their sins.